Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scott here, bringing you another Hexit episode as we continue to explore the wonderful world of Hexit. And I'm just jumping around with my cloud boots. I love these things so much. All right, but we also have to remember no cloud boots in the house. Okay, so let's head on over here. And what we're going to do today, real quick, before we go off and exploring, we need to make our last piece of armor. So we only have two, you know, of these little uh, Hexit um, hearts left. You know, we only have one left to do. So I had started recording, but accidentally failed. So I'm restarting it here. But I had made the leggings in the last uh, part there. So we're going to do the pants here. So I'm just going to go bam, 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 bam. And then I'm going to go all the way across with some obsidian. And then I'm going to take that. And I'm going to get a chest plate. Awesome. Look at that. That is that is really cool. But unfortunately, I'm not going to take them on the trip. But I made them. So we're getting there. We're getting really close to getting that all set up and that's gonna be pretty darn cool. But for now, we're gonna keep using what we have because it's all enchanted and fancy. And once we get that all, you know, set up and ready to go, we'll, hmm. You know, I must have changed my render distance because we could see the uh, UFO tree from, the tree from here. I just said toof for tree. Look at that toof over there. <laughs> all right, so we're on our adventure now. And we're heading off. So on my map, I can see there's some little castle-y things. And uh, what better way to explore the world from our Hexit house is to head to some Windhelm-type castle in the snow mountains up here. So we're on our way, making some progress with the cloud boots. I love these boots. Now, a super awesome subscriber did mention in the last video that if you shift, you can only jump one block. And I'm glad I have that knowledge now after our debacle of trying to uh, uh, pillar up to the Death Star in the last episode. So we're just cruising along, checking out caves. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ooh, what's this out here? Ooh, it's a barren landscape. Wow, this is incredibly ugly. Pat the penguin. Oh my gosh, it's Pat. Pat, where have you been? It's been so long since we last met. You were my buddy at the original house. How are you, Pat? Doing good? Good? Great. All right. Looks like we found our destination. Oh, oh, there's multiple Pats. Oh, it's the Penguin Castle. Awesome. Pat, you found your friends. That's great. Now you and your friends have a castle, and that's awesome. I'm really happy for you, Pat. Oh, oh. Hello. <laughs> oh, oh, you have spooky eyes. Yes, you need to die. Yes, you. Have these guys invaded Pat the Penguin's castle? I think they have taken it over. Don't worry, Pat. I will. Is that Paul? It is. It's Paul. It's Paul the the uh, polar bear. So these are where these guys have gone. I wondered where they went. There they are. I'll save you, Paul. Don't worry. I will save you. Oh man, look at all these blue-eyed, scary people. Oh. Oh, he's doing those heels. He's getting that heel on. Can't allow that. Yeah. You, you know, you guys are just no match for the power of the sword, which has no name, which needs a name, which I'm enlisting you today, the Skarscriber, to come up with a name for our sword. So when we attack somebody, we can uh, tell them that they got, um, you know, like I have my scarred sword from Scarland, but um, we need a name for the sword. All right, so it looks like we found Windhelm, and I'm just going to head in. Hey, yo! And ooh, you got a snazzy red carpet in here. Nice interior decoration skills. I like it. I like it a lot. But I will take your best things. Ooh, I'll take that. And I will take your apples, too, because that is the way we roll. Appear to fall in his toilet. That is not something I'd like to repeat. Hello there, Paul. It's good to meet you again. It's good to get you safe. I'm going to save you from these treacherous uh, villains. All right, let's see what else you guys got in up here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, cake. Thank you. Nope, guess I'm not hungry. Um, oh, yes, large chest. Oh, snap. I'll take your apples, and I will take your scroll of something in a green backpack. Oh, we have plenty of those. Um, yeah, so let's just take a moment here and kind of uh, clear out our inventory a little bit. Let's get some backpacks going here in our inventory so that we can quickly get some of this out of here. So let's see, what do we want? What do we want? Get all this cleared out. 
and put you up there. And there we go. Okay, good. Let's get back to the adventuring. Seriously, bro. Ooh, he made a spooky sound. Sound like the uh, like a tricorder in Star Trek. All right. There we go, Pat. Getting this place cleared out for you. You'll get back to your kingdom soon enough. Uh, all right, that's fine, I guess. Um, anything else, Pat? No, looks like we're good. It looks like we're good. Oh, here's one more. We gotta raid every house. We gotta raid them all. Gotta raid them all. Oh my gosh, look at those apples. I will take each and every one of them. Okay, so let's see here. Which way? Paul, you're so... I'm not gonna call you fat, but you're a little bit large and you're taking up the entire doorway. Excuse me, Pat. It's only polite to... Let it... Ooh. Pat, stand back. Let me take these evil, evil lings out of here. Get out of here. All right, we're gonna back up here. Oh, oh my gosh, is that like a one shot, one kill? Oh, it's definitely close. I don't use the bow and arrows enough. Look at this, they can't even touch me. Can't touch this. Look at look at Paul to my right. He's just like, oh, Scar, take him on. Getting him down. There we go. One more, one more. Got him, perfect. All right, that's clear. Oh, so like a meeting hall. This is, oh, look, look, look at Pat. <laughs> it's so funny that we met those guys up again. It's awesome. And you need to be dealt with. There you go, good, good on you. Ooh, you got a shield. Can I have that shield, please? I want the shield. All right, let's see here. So here's the great meeting hall. Now I'm noticing there's some redstone little uh, lights over here. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of want to see if there was any like you know buttons to push or anything. I want to go up there, but I'm not exactly sure how to get up there to their little over perch up here. This is this is like uh, I feel like right now this is totally the rock right now, and that scene with the Navy SEALs get slaughtered by the uh, by the uh, by the uh, what I don't even know what you call those guys. Were they terrorists or were they disgruntled? Soldiers? I don't even remember. Such a great movie, but um, I don't remember. But I haven't seen that for a while. But I remember when we uh, see. I used to live near San Francisco, and when we went to this wedding there, um, where the uh, I can't remember where in the scene with Nicolas Cage, and he like meets up with maybe his like girlfriend or whatever under the dome. I remember my brothers and I pretending uh, we were that scene. Like one of us was Nicolas Cage, and one was Sean Connery. All right, buddy, time to move out of the... Oh, oh hello there, Bob. How are you doing? Time to die. Just taking care of some of these evil... Diamond eyes. How about diamond eyes? Like, they're almost like a diamond color, so maybe maybe they're the, the evil diamond eyes. I don't know. I'm just making up things at this point. Um, I wish they would turn their lights on. It's a little bit dark in here. Ooh. Nice, nice, not... Ooh. Fur cloth leggings. I'll take those. I'll take your fur cloth leggings. What else you guys got back here? Some stoves. Got some chat. Oh, sweet. Finally, something worthwhile in one of these chests. Nice. Oh, definitely taking the apples. Um, Let's see here. Uh, let's see if we can clear out this again. Get another good clear out going. There we go. And, you know, I got a lot of these. So I'm going to give you that back. There you go. Okay, and then I think that's our full backpack, so we'll move on to a new backpack. There we go, put that down, and there we go, perfect, okay. Hmm, where should we, Ooh, did we check this? Yeah, that's where we got our apples. And you are incredibly underprepared for this battle. Let's see, what else do we got in here? Hey guys, I have this bow and arrow that's gonna probably kill you, you probably should pay attention. Probably should pay, you guys are awfully powerful. Ooh, spooky sounds. Spooky sounds. That guy was sitting down. Hey, did you see him? He was like he was sitting down on a minecart or a boat. Well, he's dead now, so we can't talk to him about it anymore. Really, Bo, that, that bow and arrow is just pretty weak. I actually wish these guys were a little more powerful or I didn't have as much powerful armor. <laughs> uh, I'm just kind of breezing through them. Ah, these guys really need to light up their place a little bit better. Oh, hmm. Um, eh, eh, 
Nah. <laughs> I'm just like, nah, nothing good. Oh, I'll take your apples. An apple a day will keep the doctor away. Not really. But it's better than a McDonald's, I suppose. Clear the way. Clear the way. Actually, I think if you eat apple seeds, I think they're actually poisonous at a certain amount if you've ingested them. So that wouldn't keep the doctor away. That would be freaky. Um, what else do you guys got in here? Anything good? No. These must be like the poor barracks or something. The poor soldiers barracks. Ooh, we actually better uh, eat a little something here. Wow, you guys are just relentless. Whoa, you are... You guys are actually hurting me. Yikes. I think I had some uh, healing potion, but I think I forgot it. I should have actually brought that. Oh, snap. You guys are wreaking havoc on me. I did want them to be a little tougher. Apparently they are. Yeah, it's time to get out the bow, bro. Time to get out the bro, bro. Time to get out the bro, bro. Okay, we're going to name this the bro bow. Our bow and arrow has a new name. Not the crystal bow of any kind. It's the bro bow. Time to get out the bro bow. Hey, Pat, is there any way to like turn on these lights? Because it's super dark. And the skyscribers need light. They need to see what we're doing. Got the officer back here with his little feather. <laughs> oh. Windhelm will be free from the treacherous... Diamond eyes, or whatever we decided to call these guys. See, their eyes are spooky. They're like possessed. There we go. You guys got all this fancy armor, but it's really not doing anything for you. It's doing these gold pieces are doing nice for your style, but not much for your. Uh, oh, jeez, look at him coming around that corner. He's a cod player. You can tell he corner shotted, and I did it too, and he's dead. <laughs> What's beyond the clock? Oh, there it is. There it is. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna walk back to the bridge. Look at that. Awesome. Dun, dun, dun. Now, I don't remember there being a giant hole in it before. It was like literally like a chunk missing. So this could be the Death Star from episode... Wait, wait. We